So we have the Siatec and hi, so who are you? Hi, uh, my name is Mick. I'm the CPO of uh, TG0. So um, what are you showing here? So basically we're using our tech into this uh, gesture controller. So the gesture controller allows us to sense our finger movement. Uh, so you can see we can check in individual fingers mm. and also the pressure sensing as well. So the orange part is the, the pressure uh, mm. we apply to the products. So and what do you have going on here? Is there some special materials? It's a the material itself and also the algorithm and uh, the machine learning we are using to allow the material turn into sensor. Is it capacitive? That's it? Or yeah, something else? Uh, capacities and resistance as well. So you also have a resistive uh, sensor? Yeah, exact, exactly. And we do the combination and the background calculation, which is our algorithm. And where do you have the happens. sensors? So, uh, sorry, what do you mean? Where do you put the sensors? Where to put the sensor? Actually, uh, so we're using the capacitance uh, sensing on the, the, the chip and uh, connect to the material itself. So the material make the sensing happen. So this is conductive material, or is, what is this? Yeah, inside is a conductive material. Yeah. So and it's silicon based, so we can using any kind of plastic base of uh, uh, conductive material, for example, ABS, TPU, and so on. And as you can see on the top, uh, we can do this um, chat pack, like this, like really high, high, um, heavy calculation as well. So we can where, see... Where, where on the top? Uh, here. Yeah, so what does that mean? Uh, so chat pad uh, send us like... Tracking? Uh, yeah, uh, chat pad. Uh, like a trackpad? Like ah, trackpad. Yeah, trackpad. Up in the air. Yeah. So ah, so on the top here. Yeah, top here. So you can see where is my finger landing and the red dot represented. And also this trackpad, we got the force sensing of the trackpad as well. Force sensing? Yeah. This is a very advanced VR kind of, uh, or any kind of, what is the use case? So the use case, we mainly want to uh, go into the VR environment as well, because we can allow people using this for like uh, online chatting or any kind of gaming interaction with um, um, the objects. And also it can be like trigger or like a, um, shooting arrows, archers, this kind of game. And also like the racing game as well. Like racing game, it, it got the uh, really sensitivity of the, the triggering for the acceleration. So we, we uh, our analog input allow people to, to do that. And also it can um, control... Uh, Is this a demo game. of how you use it? Yes, there's demo of the, the shooting game. And also uh, we can control drone as well. So you have it integrated the, already for all these use case? Yes, we only integrated and this, uh, this is live demo. This is that live demo videos. Whoa, so, drone controller. Yeah, so this drone controller, uh, so we have a lot of ins, um, inputs to allow us to do like turning and uh, direction choosing and like fly up and down and so on. And also the robot arm control as well. Yeah. All right. Hmm. So, um, where are you based? So, TGO is based in London. Yeah, TGO Zero, based in London. But we're here at Siatec in, uh, in Japan, right? Yeah. Yes. Um, it's like the Nintendo, Sony, yeah. all these guys. Um, do you show this to them or what? Uh, yeah, uh, we would we, we like to show them and actually uh, so yeah, we, we just not want to push our te technology up, out. It's not only this product and also our touch sensing uh, technology as well. So we using our touch sensing technology into automotive, uh, IoT, and the sport as well. So these three categories uh, for B two B cooperation. So where, which ones? Uh, so like uh, automotive, uh, IOT, and uh, sports. Mm. Cool. So it's all based on this kind of uh, technology. But is this uh, just a prototype or? 
It's a uh, like a. It looks like it's ready. Well, but is it 3D printed or how, how far oh. is it mass production or not? It's ready for mass production. So this is kind of uh, like later stage of prototyping. So our next stage is make this happen into um, into yeah um, into a customer uh, level of the products. Yeah. And the battery life is going to be good. Yeah, battery life will up to like 10 hours. And it's comfortable to hold? Uh, Is this yes. where you put the hand? Yes. So we, uh, I can help you? Yeah. Uh, like this, so faster. there? Yeah. And then... Yes. So the green one is on air sensing and orange one is pressure sensing. Yeah. So you can see the tripod. <laughs> if I can press this yeah. further in, okay. Now it should be better. How is that possible? <laughs> Yeah. This is going to be great for some uh, VR augmented yeah. worlds where you want to interact with other people also with your hands. Yeah, exactly. And give them a little so, slapping. So we can just uh, apply the VR, uh, sorry, the HTC tracker. Uh, so there's a attachment here, so the HTC tracker can directly attach on this, and we can use it for the VR application as well. Mm. Nice. Other tracking too, or just the HTC? Uh, so far HTC, but we open up. Uh, uh, we will approach uh, as many as possible to cross platform. Yeah. Are you a startup? Yeah, we are a startup, but we already four year and uh, development of our our technology. Everything in London. Uh, yeah, everything in London. Uh, but the production wise is uh, China and Taiwan. Yeah. But mass production ready. Uh, yes. What's the price? Maybe uh, it's gonna be good price. Uh, we, I hope. Yeah, but uh, I think so far we don't have the retail retailer price yet. Uh, but uh, now, now we are co cooperate with a couple of um, potential companies, and we're trying to bring the price down. Yeah.